veterans on this squad. Williams then rides the SEC in steals, and she is a perfect 22 for 22. A year at Alabama, a couple years at Arizona State, and that's a huge strikeout for Preston, which is a good thing. Someone who has been limited to practice. We can count with two away. Taken low, and E.K. works a walk. First base runner. Tapped to Wiggins to easily retire. Does not do any damage. We are scoreless with AM coming up. As Carlin Pickens steps in, a ton of velocity, kind of like light. See Trinity Cannon on 11 game on base streak. She will be back. Here, Joe's living the best life out in California right now. He's here. And is hit right at Boo. Don't call me. We're gonna get right now. Williams sends that into short right field, our first base catcher. Punches this one to the outfield. Outside pitch, lets the barrel do the work. Had a monster fall, best returning hitter on this team in the country so far. That's a nice change up throw down, is not in time. So Cottrell's down. We could talk about yesterday's numbers for most of these players. Laid off of that one, it got away from Kutsoyanopoulos and then goes down the third base line. Texas A&M on board first. Well, this is more scoring than we saw in nine innings yesterday. Girl was all ready to the bag. She was not going to get the tag, but because she doesn't pull that shoulder hard to get the throw over. To Upstairs to get the strikeout. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Pickens. Had a pretty good midweek game, I would say. <laughs> no doubt. Three for. Takes it inside from Preston. Inside enough that it brushed her. He came in. He's brought in some unique drills. One of those drills is a paddle drill. Drop ball can be corralled. Handled. Over at third, they try to turn the double play and barely. She's a true freshman out of Locust Grove, George, Tennessee staff. Second strikeout of the game. For performed and she had to go out and <laughs> make sure. That One pitch, 31st of the day for Preston. And that goes right through the 5-6 hole for a solid single. Really good job to power for Riley West this year, but with Woolley pulled up, punched that one through. Big bats of Malloy, Boutte, and Pooney. So as Taylor into right field, but playing just as perfectly as possible as Riley. Back. Tennessee strands two. They're down one. I'm scoring an unearned run in the first inning to take the lead. I would assume she's not available today. That's a strikeout for Pickens. Big one to get the very dangerous. Very interesting line for Riley Valentine. You see she's... To find your way into a starting lineup, you have to take advantage of the opportunities. But right now... Pickens coming in. We know that she likes to go up in the zone. So that's a luxury. That's hit into the gap in left field, but nicely played. It's a really nice one, two, three inning for Pickens. You see one to nothing. Game two of this best of three series. Good numbers for the squad, both on the offensive and certainly the pitching side. At bats, so you're definitely not facing a game that gives you a lot of great feedback. That at bat right there, definitely. The coaching staff, is that something that Coach Malville will say, or will a player say, hey, I... Just a couple of runs yesterday. Boy, that's a high strike. But Chris Malvo is preaching. How about that? Madison Preston just struck out. Allie Enright, her first year. Two players coming over with Trisha Ford from Arizona State. How about that, Donahue? Going up and getting it. A movement to come away with those balls in the 5-6 hole. Right at Gibson, who bobbled it. Harpel of those hands kicks far enough away that there's no way to recover. So she does. 
And taking off, going down to second in front of the throw. Harper. Oh my goodness. So to the That's hit solidly up the middle and the dive by Malone. Cross Tennessee. The second run crossing the plate. It's a freshman, but steps into this one with such a great approach. She was not swinging off of the, allows a ton of movement by these Texas A&M base. A wild pitch scored on an error. So the first run for taking her to look at her cards. Infield playing in. That is popped up. Donahue says, my ball. She's got it. So all year, just one more strikeout than a home run, than home runs now. Hit, oh, Pooney, that's a heck of a pick. A ball that was absolutely stunned. It's tough, it's tough on a catcher to be able to help her out. First pitch swinging this time. Pooney, she sees in the fourth from Preston. That the pitches aren't bad, but she doesn't give you good stuff to hit. Boo Gibson got a hold of that one. Out single. And the key to being a good hitter is not trying to do too much. You heard Karen Weekly talk about it in her interview. Trusty. Another first pitch swing. All three batters going after the first pitch in this inning and cuts to Annapolis. Texas A&M has shown up with a pitcher that is. Joining you on a beautiful sunny day in college. And that bodes well as they take on some of those teams more in the bottom of the SEC standings at the moment. So for them to be able to, she throws in the mid 60s, so a little bit less velocity and also fills the bottom of the zone with it been having to take today. So Pickens out after just three innings and one batter faced and they just missed turning the double. Coming up big, Zeta Pooney gets the lead runner, but it's not able to be turned because over there at second base, Riley Valentine struck out against the starter Pickens. Another first pitch swing. Pooney had a little bit of trouble getting it out of her glove. You know that she's being brought in to kind of calm the water. And struck out against Pickens, the departed starter, who can come back in the game. That sends Malloy back. So routine for key two to nothing after four. Women's basketball final tomorrow afternoon on ABC. Even though they won last night two to one in 10 innings, this is not the offense we're used to seeing. That's easily handled by Cannon. Want to tell you, Bree. Left field number five, Riley West. Another ground ball. Wiggins, two quick outs. That's why Vegas puts out the odds, because you got to be able to point nine runs per game on average coming into this game. They've given up a couple today, and again, both unearned. That's a one, two, three inning. Speeds right here. Texas A&M capitalizing. The fans are loving it. And they includes tomorrow afternoon at Davis Diamond. First pitch swinging. Alley and right. So four batters facing. Sims. As a hitting squad, you want to welcome a new pitcher in. If, the, if she's going to step in, disrupt the timing of a hitter who's just stepping in, coming from the batter, that these hitters are all attacking first pitch. Shows bunt. Picked up in foul territory. It was signaled right away by the home plate up, Stelton. Right on first. And that's hit into the grass in front of West. Back. This AM, these AM hitters are absolutely capital. And you know, Karen Weekly's thinking, is this an April Fool's joke? And are we really third respectively anticipating the bunt? Lifted into the air. Gibson drifts into foul territory for the first out of the fifth. Like another pitch, more of an off-speed pitch delivered. I'm the first pitch has not been a strike. So very good hold, a very mature at bat. Into right field, Taylor gets it a few feet short of the warning track. The tag by Enright. Drea, when he was coaching Julie. Kind of hitter. Gibson with a chance, nicely run down by Boo right before she singles to start off the fifth. They get stranded, it's still 2-0. Busy. She had a little girl and they named her Kindry. 
Watch strike three go by. Cottrell fired up behind the plate. Percentage over a thousand coming into this game. Oh, you know how it is. It's like a mom saying they don't have a favorite kid. Oh my goodness, Kiki Malloy with the hat trick has struck. Beautiful position down in the zone. That's exactly where you want to throw that pitch. But Trisha Ford pitches to the matchup and she saw something in. Williams, after covering a lot of ground, trying to final out. Madison Preston on a roll. Press her drop and has an improved changeup. So that's what they're looking to do to disrupt the hitters for Texas A&M. Starter Pickens. A&M trying to even up this. Coleman goes down swinging. Karen Weekly is that this is a messy game. This has not been X series last weekend at home. And Wiggins draws the walk. Rossini coming in to start things off in the circle. Ashwin Riley Valentine at the plate. Wiggins took off easily. Sinopolis back behind the dish is impressing me, knowing that she did not come in with a lot of tutoring. Back of that over to coach Megan Rhodes Smith. That barely got into fair territory, so a bit of a swinging bunt. And definitely three ball, corner pocket, but at the same time, because it's a lefty catcher, that's a... Fully just hitting 188 with runners in scoring position. Off the glove of Orsini, allows Wig. Well, in last season, Coco has benefited. Sharply hit ball, misplayed, and Texas A&M takes advantage by scoring another... Skied into short left. Donahue fighting the sun a little bit. Able to, which is one short of the high two off AM pitchers. That's a 115 batting average. Julia. Four pitch walk to start the seventh. That is the first walk that. Impressive outing with just one free pass and seven strikeouts. Boo Gibson has been on base. Gibson lays off. And the 2000 up after coming over from Arizona. Katsuganopoulos. Katsianopoulos is going to tell, say that that hit her, though she took the elbow into the pitch, and I do not, do not believe that that is how the rule is interpreted. A runner as far as third base this afternoon. One, two, hit to Woolley, flips over to get the out at... Momentum was taking her to second base. I actually wish she had taken that play herself. It would have been a closer play over there at first. The one away for Riley West. And she, they say she got hit by the pit. On ball, don't try to overdo it. Good defensive infield for the Aggies. They'll take the strikeout. And the always dangerous Kiki Malloy is on deck. 1-1. One, one. And it's ended emphatically. Wiggins and the Aggies. A little bit of a scare there in the 7M. Three runs on five hits and no errors. One run on two hits and two errors.